my cash stuffing video or I might just put this clip in the beginning of my video um, but I am gonna be announcing and picking my 3,000 subscriber giveaway winner so what I did so what I did is I wrote out everybody's names and it's like it's a, it's a lot of people and if you guessed both answers right then I put your name twice I was gonna cut out all these names and like pick them out from like a hat or something um but that was gonna take a really long time what i'm gonna do i numbered so this is 1 through 30 31 to 59 and then etc um I'm, i have a random number generator that i'm gonna pick from there and then um see who is the winner before i do that the first question was where did me and my boyfriend meet we met on instagram he did dm me there and then second answer where am i from i am originally from hawaii so if you guess both of those answers right then you did get two entries into the giveaway if you guessed one of them right then you got one entry so let me i have my ipad here so i put one through 129 because there's 129 names let's pick a random number 98 okay so number 98 so this is 89 through 116 so 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 oh did i do that right so 89 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98 is Chachi. I do know who this is. She always comments down on my videos. So congratulations to you, girl. You won my 3,000 subscriber giveaway. Contact me on Instagram. That way I can get your email and your address to send you your prizes. So thank you all so much for entering this giveaway. Um, I will be doing another giveaway, I think, at 5,000 subscribers. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and get back to the cash stuffing. Bye. Hey, you guys. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Cash Money Gabs, taking over for the 99 and the 2000s and cashmoney.gabs on Instagram. If you haven't already, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Here on my channel, I do cash stuffing videos, budget with me's, and all of the things money and budgeting related. For today's video, obviously we are doing a cash stuffing. This is my boyfriend's paycheck. It is his third paycheck for the month of April and our fifth paycheck between the both of us. I did film a budget with me, so that will be linked up in the cards. Before we get started, I do want to do my shout outs. We'll just go right into these lovely ladies. Uh, my first shout out uh, for budget with Lena she is a somewhat new budgeting channel um, I love her channel I love her vibe she's like she's very calm cool and collected um, she does work a full-time job plus she does bartending and serving as a side hustle I believe at her family's restaurant her dog has the cutest name her dog's name is Capone when I heard that I like absolutely love that but that is my first shout Shout out so make sure you go ahead and follow her subscribe to her channel do all the things everybody will of course be linked down below second shout out is Linda budgets Linda budgets is my little workout buddy she is so close to 1,000 subscribers so make sure you all subscribe to her channel of course she does cash stuffings check-ins she's so sweet and she's like so supportive especially like you know with our our workouts and or she's just very encouraging so absolutely love her another person been very motivating at least like with my workouts and stuff um has been a uh, pretty penny edith that is her instagram um she also has a youtube channel she is like killing the workout game so if anybody needs like motivation when it comes to working out make sure you follow them a budget with natasha of course my budget bestie she is also back on her grind working out make sure you follow all of those ladies if you're looking for motivation and like you know healthy eating stuff like that my so my last shout out for budgeting channels 
is Luna Saves Cash. She is a very new budgeting channel. She already has up two videos, so make sure you go watch those videos and support her channel. She is a mom, so all of you moms out there who need ideas as far as budgeting, I think she would be really helpful. So make sure you all subscribe to her as well. Everybody will be linked down below, so make sure you all show your support. And if you do follow them, let them know that Cash Money Gap sent you. So let's go right into the cash stuffing. I feel like I have a lot of things to do. My videos have been a little bit longer lately, um, I guess because I talk too much. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but whatever. Like I've been saying, it's my channel, so I can do what I want. Today we are cash stuffing $1,050. Um, I think $1,050 or $1,051. I think I had an extra dollar for some reason that I took out of the, from the bank. Let's start off with my wallet. We actually have quite a bit left over, which I am happy about. So groceries, oh, we have $10, cool. Groceries is gonna be getting its usual 100, two, four, six, eight, one. You guys, I am off again this weekend. My job rotates weekend, so I usually have at least one weekend off a month, um, sometimes two if I'm lucky. I don't know what we're gonna do, but I wanna do something fun. Gas is gonna be getting 50 because we are gonna be doing something this weekend so miscellaneous oh my god you guys i have a story time for you I have eleven dollars left over how do i have eleven dollars left over it's a whole story so usually for miscellaneous i stuff ten dollars and what i use that money for uh, every sunday we go to sam's club i get an icy and a churro and my boyfriend usually gets like a hot dog or pizza um so this time we just got the icy and churro so it was like two dollars it's like not even three dollars and it was like 6.30. So the cafe, you know, where they have everything, they closed at 7. 30 minutes before they were about to close. Um, I don't know why this kid, he was like 17 or something. I don't know why he had an attitude, but I'm not the one, I'm not the two, three, four, five, I'm none of those. So he had an attitude. I honestly don't know why because there was 30 minutes left before they were closing. Um, it wasn't like five minutes or two minutes that I can understand because I've worked in, you know, food service before. So he had no reason to be upset. Like they had plenty of churros. He didn't have to go and make one or whatever. And, and then I just wanted an icy. So I told him what I wanted. So I gave, I had a 10, I had my 10 for my miscellaneous envelope. So I gave it to him and he, he like snatches it, snatched. And I was like, oh, okay. So I didn't say anything. He took the $10 and he was doing something. He was talking to his coworker and he proceeded to give me back $18. So he gave me three fives and three ones. He gave it to me and I was going to tell him, I was like, oh no. And he was like, what? I'm going to go get your order now. And then he just walked away and I'm like, okay, all right, bet free churro and an icy paid me for you having an attitude so i was like okay thank you goes to get my churro and he gives it to me or whatever and he goes to make the icy but he gives me a blue one so i told him like oh i'm sorry i asked for a pepsi icy and he's like does it look like the pepsi icy is working i'm, I'm sorry i didn't see that i don't know how i was supposed to know that because the little red light wasn't on i'm like oh i'm sorry i wouldn't have asked for it if i didn't know so he gave me the blue one and i was like oh no but i like i i want the pepsi and I was gonna tell him but if it's not working then can I get like just a regular drink I wasn't gonna be like no I asked for the Pepsi whatever but he didn't even let me finish he cut me off and he poured the icy in the cup the Pepsi icy and it was all watery and gross so he showed it to me and he was like does that look okay to you does that look like you want to drink it like he literally said that to me I was so pissed off because I was gonna tell him like oh that's not what I want I'm sorry can I get a drink so he did that and I was like I know it's not effing like I started swearing like I didn't even care I started yelling like I know it's not effing working I can see that and then he's like well then what do you want me to do I'm like get me another effing drink get me a soda and I was yelling at him like I was so mad because one he gave me an attitude 
and I tried to correct him with the change, that way his drawer wasn't short. He had an attitude again, like, fine, okay, you gave me $8 back. Then you have an attitude again, why I told him, get me a cup so I can get an effing drink, and don't have an effing attitude. And he just shut up. He just looked down. I don't know if he started crying. I do not care. He went and got me a cup for a drink and I just got a Diet Coke and that was it. That's what happened and that's why I now have $11 left over in my miscellaneous envelope um, because of that child. I am not the one to have an attitude with. So yeah, that's my story time and that's why I have $11 left over. Something else really exciting, Eat Out has $8 left. So yeah, this week was very successful, if I do say so myself. Miscellaneous, we will put $10. Eat Out is gonna be $40. And then you already know, receipts are done. Tonight we are eating Chipotle, courtesy of fetch courtesy of you all so i will put a picture of my chipotle here so thank you guys so much if you do not have fetch and you also want free chipotle use my code here for free gift cards thank you that is it for my wallet let's count how much we have left so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Oh my god, $29. What are we going to do with it? I do have some coins in my little coin pouch. Coin jar is from Katie Budgets. I am giving away one of these coin jars in my 3,000 subscriber giveaway. Just to get it out of the way. We so we are going to start off with our bill binder. I do have these little dashboards from P G budgets. I haven't filled them out yet, um, so I need to do that to write out what I need to stuff in each bill category each time we get paid. So I still need to do that with rent. That is getting three thirty. So we have two hundred, three hundred twenty, and then thirty. One, two, three, twenty, three thirty. This actually has to go back to the bank because rent is coming up, you guys. The first is, oh my god, the first is on Sunday. So yeah, I have to take this like tomorrow. Okay, usually my rent is about $14.80. So let's see if this is right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one thousand. One, two, two, four, six, eight, three, two, four, six eight four hundred four twenty four forty four sixty four seventy four seventy five one two three four five so four hundred eighty so one thousand four hundred eighty oh that's perfect okay i did the math right okay so that's it for rent car payment is going to be getting 65 so we have 50, 60, and 5. It has 1, 20, 40, 150, 160, 165, 170. Okay, so that's for car payment. There's one more. It's over here. Subscriptions. That's getting 10. So it now has $40. This is going to be for the subscriptions for May. That is it for the bill binder. Now, I did move some things around because I did get some new binders. I know. Do I really need new binders? No, but one was sent to me. Um, the other one I did get, but I'll get to those in just a second. So I did switch around some things that way I could use like almost all my binders. So this is the new, for now, my savings challenge binder. I'm going to start off with the way to save challenge. So this week I weighed the same. I stayed at 165. So whenever I weigh the same, I do have to put $5. Luckily, we have a plethora of $5 rolled over. The way to save challenge has 5 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 
and then this is from Gina Renee RN Budgets and she is linked down below now let's move on to the Easter challenge I did put all the eggs back in here and there is one more egg oh okay it's this one let's put Mr. Bunny away this is the last egg for the challenge my boyfriend has been writing in the amounts to stuff for this challenge so let's see what he did for this week okay you guys ready i'm not wow okay so he put one dollar and then he put surprise that's not bad that means we completed the easter challenge i'll take the dollar from here let's count this up 50 70 90 100 110, 115, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126. Ooh, okay, he did a good job. I appreciate that. He did make it somewhat challenging um, in the beginning of the month. Love that. And then we'll put this to the side to see what we do with it. So let's flip back to the dollar savings challenge. From rollover, we do have three. And then from the paycheck, I put two. That's five dollars going into this challenge. And I will count this at the end of the second quarter. So for the $500 savings challenge, that is going to be getting $20. So it now has 20, 40, 50, 60, 65. What I'm going to do since it is $20, this row is all $2 that equal to 20. So I'm going to color in all of these. That way it looks like I'm doing a lot. It's all about how you look at things. Do you see the cup half empty or do you see the cup half full? I don't know what the hell I'm talking about that is oh look at that it looks like we're doing a lot cool that's it for this challenge and then next savings challenge is gonna be the hello kitty mini savings challenge you guys look how cute this is this is from hoi mom budgets um her etsy is on vacation right now but it, i think she said she's opening back up on may 6th and this challenge is not gonna be restocked um from what i saw on her instagram so if you want this make sure you go grab it because it is so cute i did total up the amount um it comes out to 260 dollars we are starting this today we're gonna be doing ten dollars and i did get an envelope for this challenge what we're gonna color in same strategy as the other one it's ten dollars but we're gonna color in four dollars another four dollars so that's eight I put two. That makes it ten. I almost got Hello Kitty tatted on me, but I didn't. That's how much I loved Hello Kitty at one point. So that's it for the savings challenge binder. Moving on to the 100 envelope box. We are stuffing 21 and 57. 21. This challenge box is from the Bell's Budget. I don't think she makes them anymore because, hello, it's like a hundred envelopes. I don't know how she did it. Um, sometimes she does post on her Instagram that she's going to be taking orders. So you'll just have to keep looking out for her or um, just search on Etsy. Like there's other people who make this challenge too. Next envelope is 57. Five, six, seven. Let's color in the tracker. Can you guys see a trend of the kind of numbers I like to pick out? They're all on this side of the challenge. It's on purpose. I'm, I'm not picking these. Sometimes I pick them randomly, but other times I don't. Sometimes I'll pick a hundred. I'm like, oh no, I'm not ready for that commitment yet. But we will get there. I did bring out this challenge on my budget with me. This Princess Budget's 1K Savings Challenge. She actually just dropped her new 1K Savings Challenge and her new website. So that will be linked down below. Make sure to check her out. She did have a launch of these that sold 
sold out in like two minutes i was shook like princess is doing so well but i don't know why some people get crazy over her selling out like look at all of this like look at the time these envelopes aren't pre-made like she's making them and the foil the roses um i i could not the time that it takes to make these is incredible so she is going to be doing pre-orders this is going to be getting 35 Oh, I'm so excited doing this. I've been wanting to start for so long. We'll just put it in the first envelope. Oh my god, I love that. Okay, she will live right there. She even throws in this cute little pen to mark off um, on your tracker. She even makes a tracker, guys. Like, come on. I'm going to use my pink one to color in 35. Whoever be coming for princess, you all need to chill out because I'm coming for you. You know, be patient. Don't get crazy. There's no, no need for that. So we still have four fives. We're going to do two fives in the $5 savings challenge. That way we can fill out the first row. Money bag, money bag, money bag. And then I will also count this after the first quarter now that's it for this binder i don't know what we're gonna do with these two fives but let's just put it here okay you guys this is one of my new binders this is one of the binders i'm obsessed with are you guys ready look how pretty this is from the ben brad shop and i've been wanting one of her binders for so long i first saw her on katie budgets and then daisy budgets has all the binders but when i saw this one i was like i have to have it like i have to it is so pretty and then i also also got I know a cute little matching like little wallet like card wallet I love this so this is my new high priority binder emergency is not getting stuffed right now I'm using I'm using that $500 challenge for this debt is gonna be getting 70 so this is for my student loans and then I'm also going to put in here for my boyfriend's tattoo removal payment. That's going to get 40 so I'll put like a sticky note to divide it later on. And then car maintenance is going to be getting 20 This now has 100 150 170 190 210 230 250 270 280, 290, 295, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 300. Oh, cool. It's already at 300. And let's fill out another car. We are just doing a lot of things in this video today, guys. So that's it for the high priority binder. Okay, next binder that I got, this was actually sent to me. So thank you so much, Daniela. Daniela is from Simple Shops. You already know she sells out so quick. When I first saw this binder, I was like, I had to have that, like I have to. I was gonna buy it anyway. And then she DM'd me that she was gonna send it to me. So thank you so much, girl. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am obsessed with this binder, you guys come on it is so pretty it's like a quilted pink can you guys tell i like pink everything's pink this is um the new mid priority binder and the detail though i did put this little sticker inside but she does have her like logo simple shops so that is so cute but yeah this is the new mid priority binder because i'm so obsessed with it i want to use it all the time and then I did move my little coffee keychain because I thought it matched perfectly. I don't know if she has this in stock right now on her Etsy. The last time I checked a few days ago, it said like low stock or something like that. So guys, you need to follow these ladies, pay attention to like their restocking dates. That way you guys don't miss out. But starting off with Sam's Club is going to be getting $10. So it now has 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41. And then this is Household. Household is just going to be getting five. I need to condense this. Household, oh my god, look at this. 
Household has 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82. How since I have that extra 10, I wasn't going to stuff anything, but we'll put 5 into health. And what I'm also going to do, because I wanted to use the money from the state, some of the money from the savings challenges to put into the health envelope, I'm trying to bulk up a lot of these envelopes that we grab often, like for health, household. Sometimes there's certain things that you can't really budget for, so it's good to just have the money available in case you need it. So for health, I'm going to put this 50 so it now has 50 70 90 100 110 120 next is furniture furniture is getting five I did spend some money in furniture because my boyfriend needed a pizza cutter. He's like obsessed with making homemade pizza right now. I was trying to save up for a patio set and I still want one, but I want to try to find one on Facebook Marketplace. That's like really cheap. Furniture now has $20 and we haven't even been using this for furniture. We've been using it for like little kitchen appliances. So my boyfriend got a pizza cutter. Um, we needed like a bigger baking dish because he bakes a lot of stuff. He bakes protein cookies or whatever. So yeah, that's what we've been using this for. Gifts is getting 20. Gifts now has 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Okay. So that is it for the new mid priority binder. So moving on to the low priority binder. For date night, that is getting 30. So 20, 30. Date night now has 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75. And I think we're gonna do something tomorrow. My envelope is gonna be getting 10. So it has a 10 in here, so it'd be 20. For my nails, it's also gonna be getting 20. My appointment is next week, so I'm excited for that. So it now has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, which is like more than enough for um, my nails and then also a tip. Beauty is going to be getting nothing. Oh, that's sad. Okay. My tattoo, I am going to be stuffing finally again, is going to be getting 15 family fun we still have the money since we didn't see my family last weekend so that's just gonna be getting five 20 40 50 60 70 75 80 85 then for Luis's tattoo he did take money out of this because he did get a little part of his sleeve that he's doing he's doing like little by little or something like that so he did take out some money for this and this is gonna be getting 20 tech stuff is gonna be getting 10 so it now has 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 75 and then vacation is gonna be getting 20. So it now has 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 175. Color in the tracker. With that extra five from Rollover, I'm going to put it in Beauty. So Beauty now has 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So that's it for the low priority binder. I forgot about that extra dollar that I took out for some reason. So that'll go right into my dollar savings challenge. So leftover from the Easter challenge, we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. I know what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna make it 75. This will go into my dollar savings challenge. And then we're gonna be responsible and just put it towards debt. 
$40 will go for my boyfriend's tattoo removal. And then 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 will go towards my student loans. So I'll just put it together and then I will divide it later. Oh my god, I'm bringing this out. This is the last time I'm bringing out this binder. Let's put this dollar in here. Okay, so that was the video. It is so long. We've been having money to stuff like all of our sinking funds, so that's exciting. So yeah, thank you all for sticking with me to the end of this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your post notification bell. That way you never miss another one of my videos. I will talk to you all later. Bye now.